Hello, and welcome to the Energy Connect Studio of Adibet 2023. I'm delighted I'm joining today in the studio Sajit Kumar, Director, Digital Production and Edge at SLB, and Craig Fallon, CEO of Geminis. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Now, Greg, I want to start with you. Um, why was Geminis founded? And can you tell me a bit more about it as well? So we were founded um, on the premise that artificial intelligence offers uh, a lot of potential to make the machines around us more efficient, right? Uh, so how can we increase productivity uh, without major capital expenses? And um, we were looking at existing artificial intelligence solutions, and we know that um, they could often be expensive and timely to implement. And so we created Geminis as a way to quickly create artificial intelligence models that can be used to optimize infrastructure fast and, and at a scalable manner. Interesting. And uh, Sajid, why did SLB select Geminis? Uh, maybe some of the answers in what they're doing, but I'd like to get your viewpoint and what SLB saw in it. Absolutely. Of course, we like Greg. That's why we did. <laughs> but there is more to that. I was joking. So... Look, the industry is really uh, pivoting towards digitizing the frontline workers and, and, and the frontline operations, which is really in the remote areas of oil and gas yeah. fields and other energy portfolios as well. And there, the physics-based simulation that we are used to do in planning, designing, and, and engineering really doesn't work because if you're in the middle of the operation and you want to change a set point you know, to optimize your process, you're not going to call back and someone runs a simulation for two days and then they gives you the answer and then you change the position of the valve or set points of the machine. So we really need something which can represent the whole physics, science and chemistry behind what we are trying to do in our industry, but it can give the answer very fast. And what we found with Geminis is that there are a lot of companies who are building what we call proxy models mm -hmm. uh, or surrogate models, but their approach is quite unique in terms of how little you know, compute power and time is needed to generate a representative model and help to automate the operation. That's really interesting. And how do you see this partnership impacting the energy sector and what you're working in? Absolutely. So I think you will hear even in uh, this conference that decarbonizing is, is the core theme. And that is driven by you're taking and reducing the footprint of both human workers and the machine in the remote areas. And for that, you need to really embrace the autonomous operations or remote operations. And our dream is to one day run an oil field or a facility or a pipeline fully autonomously. And that is only possible if you have these algorithms becoming more sophisticated and doing the mundane task that is to be done by the human workers today. So we are really excited about this prospect and driving and contributing to the core theme of this conference. That's really good to hear. And Craig, I want to bring you back in. You know, we talked about what Geminis is, but also what solutions are you now going to be really focused on? Um, where do you think this partnership can go as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, we're really excited about the partnership um, and grateful uh, for Summer Day's uh, sponsorship. So the application that we're working on, as Sujeev mentioned, is uh, focused on taking physics-based models, mm -hmm. simulations, and then using those to train very smart artificial intelligent models uh, that can respond in real time, uh, actually faster than real time to questions that they're asked. And uh, Suji just alluded to this concept of autonomous operations. Where we're seeing residents right now is mostly in uh, upstream and midstream applications at the surface where we're looking at optimization of facilities, where there's a major need to improve uh, facility operation to reduce greenhouse gases uh, and then also increase the productivity of the facilities. We are also looking at decarbonization options where we're thinking about both carbon capture uh, and renewable technologies. Absolutely. I want to add that, you know, the, so Gemini's approach, which is, um, you know, we can call it in many ways, but I would like to simplify it in a mm -hmm. way that the surrogates are built with the idea of what we call hybrid AI. Mm -hmm. So if you just use AI, you need millions of data points and months to train that model and you're not always happy with that. And if you just use physics-based simulator, it just takes too much time. So how do you find that balance and then tackle all the simple as well as difficult problem of the industry? And where we are starting is the biggest need, which is the facilities, how we can you know, digitize the entire facility and optimize the throughput from that. That's really interesting to suggest. And as a sort of final question to both of you, you know, what successes have you seen 
and where do you see the success is going, um, especially some of the value that can be realized out of this product? Yeah. Where do you want to start? Uh, so we're starting to see uh, successes with some of the major international health companies, primarily downstream applications, okay. where we're looking at real-time uh, refinery operations. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a lot of work and having some successes in gas fields, where we're managing uh, large uh, unconventional fields with hundreds of thousands of wells would be the next application. Uh, and then we've done some work together and had some really good success with geothermal energy. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think I would rather focus more on the gas side because sure. the industry is also kind of looking at gas as a transition fuel. And gas was one area where not much digitalization happened compared to oil refining because that was precious in the past. So we are looking at solving some difficult gas processing problems, whether it's related to NGL recovery, whether it's related to amine recovery, and those processes, we really want to optimize both the throughput, how we can reduce the emissions, and with the approach of what we are doing with Geminis, we can bring in some other factors, which was never possible before. For example, how weather is going to impact my overall process optimization. You can't input that in the physics-based simulators, but with the hybrid AI approach, you can. Well, so that's really interesting to hear. And I just want to thank both of you for coming down and talking about this new partnership. And it sounds like exciting times ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. We are. Super. Thank you for the partnership. Thanks everyone for watching. And I look forward to bringing more studio interviews from the show floor in the coming days.